Hello, I am Ferran Rigual and I will present the work that we have done in selection and adaptation of an object detection method for robot grasping. This work was done at the Institute de Robotica e Informatica Industrial, in collaboration with Arnau Ramisa, Guillem Alanyà and Karma Torres. The presentation is organized in four main sections. First of all, the vision and objectives of the project will be introduced. Secondly, there is a review on the initial methods to decide which is the one which best solves our problem. After that, the selected method is studied in more detail to find some possible adaptations. At the end, the conclusions are discussed. So, let's just start with the vision and the objectives. We work with the RIM robot of PAL Robotics. The main objective of the project is to provide RIM with a system capable of detecting, recognizing, localizing and grasping objects. Furthermore, there is a second list of objectives more related to the methodology of the project. The followed strategy is to select a list of candidate methods, prepare an initial evaluation, select the method offering the best results, identify and implement adaptations and improvements over this method and evaluate the resulting method with real experiments. The first evaluated method is ORTK. ORTK stands for Object Recognition Toolkit. It was the first method to be reviewed because its implementation follows the indication of the original author of SIFT. SIFT is a well-known technique in the field of computer vision used in some of the next methods reviewed in this project. ORTK has an easy training that allows the method to start detecting and recognizing the objects even if only some of the pictures are provided. However, the results lack of manipulation data and therefore the robot cannot localize or grasp the object in its environment. The second evaluated method is RoboEarth. RoboEarth can be downloaded from the repositories of ROS. ROS stands for Robot Operating System. In RoboEarth, a 3D model of the object is created using the depth information provided by the Kinect camera. RoboEarth offers competitive results when dealing with distances lower than 2 meters. Even when it uses 3D models to train the objects, RoboEarth does not use the 3D information in the detection phase. Its performance decreases significantly when trying to detect objects at 2 meters or more. The third evaluated method is GIST. GIST focuses on the fire detection problem. It works only with one small region of the image at a time, using the technique named sliding windows. Even when the results are better than the ones obtained with the previous methods, GIST is still not prepared to offer good detection rates when detecting at 2 meters of distance or more. The fourth method is color detection. Unlike the previous methods, color detection uses color histograms to compare the images and the trained models. As GIST, it also focuses on the fur detection problem and uses the sliding windows technique. Color detection method offers better results but still doesn't solve the fur detection problem. Has problems when dealing with multicolored objects. The last analyzed method is Moped. Moped works with ROS. It's developed by the Carnegie Mellon University. And besides detecting the objects in the input images, it localizes the object in the robot environment, giving the robot the ability to grasp the objects. Moped uses the technique known as a structure from motion to obtain 3D object models using 2D images as input. Moped also offers good results even when the objects are located at 2 meters of distance of the camera. After reviewing the methods, a performance test is designed and executed. For the performance test, we use the same objects for all the methods. The objects have different color, texture and size. There are four test images, one taken from close distance and the rest taken from 1, 2 and 3 meters respectively. The results of the performance test are reflected in this table. Each cell contains the number of objects detected by the method in the column for the test image on the row. Moped is the method obtaining the best results both in close and far distance. Now that a method has been chosen, we proceed with a deeper study of the method in order to analyze if any improvement or adaptation can be done. We focus on the detection and the training processes. In the detection process, the method extracts the descriptors from the input images and compares them with the ones of the previously trained object models. For the relations with similar scale, position and rotation, hypotheses are done. Final relations are those which remain after the quality filters have been applied. In the training process, between 40 and 60 images have to be taken per object. 
each one with the corresponding image mask. For each image, shift descriptors are extracted and filtered using the masks. After this, the remaining descriptors in all of the possible pairs of images are compared and related. Finally, Bundler, the structure from motion software, uses this information to generate the 3D object model. The first of the adaptations is the automation of the training process. The mask of the image of an object is a black and white image delimiting the region associated with the object, represented in white, from the background, represented in black. When working in a domestic environment, the robot has to work with a lot of different objects. For each trained object, the training process requires between 40 and 60 images. The default method of obtaining the mask for each of these images is a manual process, resulting in a time-consuming task. Our first attempt to automatize this process is using plane segmentation. The trained object remains over a table and a Kinect camera is positioned on a higher plane. Plane segmentation uses the depth information from the camera to find the biggest plane on the input image. This plane corresponds to the table, therefore all the points over this plane are associated with the object and painted in white. The rest of the input images is painted in black. Due to the technical specifications of the camera, there is a minimum distance of 80 cm that has to be respected. This limitation leads to a loss of quality in the input image, so we tried another strategy to automatize the trained process. The second attempt is background subtraction. An image of a fixed background is taken without the trained object. Then, the object is positioned on the scene and another image is taken. When comparing both images, the only changing region corresponds to the object and is painted in white. The rest of the image is painted in black. Since the depth information is not used in this method, the previous limitations don't apply and there is no limit on the quality image. This table compares the quality of the object models obtained with each one of the tried methods. Even when the default method gets a higher number of points in the model, resulting in a bigger amount of information, the background subtraction method has the lower error, so it was considered the best method in this project. The second adaptation is the selection of the grasping point. The grasping point is the one used to, by the robot to grasp the detected object. Muppet does not offer an algorithm to get one, because it depends on each robot. In this project, the intended grasping point is the central point of the upper face of the object, because, on the tests, this face of the object is always clear. This table shows the results obtained when trying to grasp different kinds of objects. The results decrease as the objects are smaller, like in the case of the can of coke. Finally, the conclusions. A search of the best available methods has been performed. The method that best solves our particular problem has been selected and adapted. A configuration of a practical detection for manipulation system has been arranged. Each step, from the training process to the grasp of the objects, has been evaluated in a real scenario. Our results are inversely proportional to the distance at which the ob detected objects are located. Therefore, far detection is proposed as a possible line of future work. This is the end of the presentation. Thanks for your attention.